everybody, this is Coaster Crazy 10 and I got a package video for you guys. Um, I ordered this a while ago, probably about a week ago, and it finally came, and it came all the way from Canada. And this is a package from uh, one of my friends at the Retro Gamer Forum, uh, RacketBoy.com. Uh, and this is, if you were paying attention, um, when I was, you know, when I was talking about my videos to come in one of my previous videos, I said I have a reproduction cart coming, and this is it. Um, couldn't find my scissors, so I'm kind of just having to dig into this like a crazy person. But I'm really, really excited about this. This is really cool. Um, yeah, this is awesome. Okay. Um, for those of you who know anything about you know Super Nintendo games, um, you'll know that Earthbound is one of the rarest and most expensive uh, Super Nintendo games out there, um, and you know it's it's really hard to get a hold of outside of eBay, and you have to pay a premium to get it in a good condition. Um, most people don't know that that's actually the second game in a series of games, and in uh, Japan they released um, a video game called Mother which was the prequel to Earthbound, which is Mother 2 in Japan. And uh, it was actually headed for a North American release. I don't know what the year was, but it was headed towards it uh, within a year after the Japanese release. And at the last minute, it got canceled. And uh, so there was uh, just a, a, a translated version of the game that was just never distributed. And eventually that was distributed online. And now um, I actually own a copy of Mother 1, aka Earthbound Zero, for the NES. And, uh, you know, Earthbound, it's an RPG, and um, you go around, you play as Ness, and you have your other characters, and so I'm assuming this is pretty similar to Earthbound, um, being Earthbound Zero should be in the same vein. And um, this is just so cool. I mean, basically what, what you do here is, is you take you know, a cart, and you pull off one of the chips, and then you can... Um, put your own, um, you basically flash the ROM onto the chip, or you just get a flash cartridge, and you put it inside of here. And uh, then you can play whatever game you want. And I just think, I just think this is so cool. Um, it, I paid $25 for this shipped, and it sounds like a lot for an NES game, and it is. It's a lot more than I normally pay for a game. But um, to get the experience of playing, you know, an Earthbound game on a real console is something that, you know, I'd rather pay $25 than pay $80 to get Earthbound. And eventually I'm going to pay that, um, although I'm, I'm really hoping I can find it in something like on Craigslist or something along those lines to kind of counteract the amount of money that it's, um, that it's going to cost me so I can get it for something less. I will get Earthbound in the future, but for now I have Earthbound Zero, and I just think this is awesome. Um, and, I mean, that's all I've got to show you guys. I will be doing a setup video Hopefully soon. I'm going to be really busy this week, but I'm going to try to get something done for you guys. And uh, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for all the comments on my last video. I mean, it's, it hasn't even been up for, you know, two days, and I've got a lot of people commenting and, and liking and everything like that. So uh, thanks to everyone who was um, watching that video. Um, I, I'm really trying to get some content for you guys. Uh, again, er, Craigslist is just kind of dried up around here. But um, I'll keep you guys updated. And hopefully I'll see you guys in a couple of days with a new video.